In this video, I'm going to talk about substitute chords. Well, what does that mean? I'm going to tell you. Uh, I'm going to be using guitar to demonstrate this, but you can do this on any instrument you got, except for, I mean, drums wouldn't make sense. I mean, you could. But anyhow, we're going to talk about substitute chords. And what does that mean? Well, that means we can take one chord and replace another one with it based on two similar tones within the triad. So we're going to be looking at the major scale, in this case, uh, going from a one to four to five, maybe switching to four to another chord with similar tones. Now we have to think about first what notes are consistent between chords. So we have to build each note, and we're going to use the key of C, so playing C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, but we have to build triads, which means we have to stack root, third, fifth on each. So we're going to have every chord will adhere to the key being zero flats, zero sharps, which is handy, that's what I'm using C. And so the chords will be C major, or just plain old C, D minor for two, E minor for three, F for four, G for five, uh, A minor for six, B diminished, weird, for seven, and then C for root again, or eight in this case. So the most common progression is the C, F, G. And between those chords, we have the C chord, which has a C, an E, and a G. The F chord has an F, an A, and a C. And a G chord has a G, a B, and a D. And we're going to go into how we can swap the four chord for the two chord based on two similar tones in that, and go from there. So in this video, I highly recommend you pull out a copy of the Circle of Fifths. It will help you understand what I'm talking about when I'm talking about one chord, the four chord, the five chord, uh, being the major chords, and the, the three minor chords that would be listed on the inner ring would be the two, the four, and the six. Six, I need more fingers. The six. Um, and so, it, and it's a wheel that is really handy. At the top, usually, of your C, so your, your natural key. No sharps, no flats, so you don't have to worry about anything crazy with your triads. But then, when we're getting into other keys, like the key of G, you have to worry about the first sharp, F sharp. So, you can use this, you can either download it on your, one of your devices, um, there's free apps everywhere, there's online, you can find images of the Circle of Fifths. But use it as a resource to, almost a cheat sheet, put it beside you when you're trying to determine what chords would fit in a specific key, and it's right there in front of me. Um, but for this video, we are going to talk about the one, the four, the five, and how we can change things like the four chord to alternate chords um, to make it a little more interesting, a little more colorful. As one, four, five is popular, there are other popular progressions like a one, two, five, or one, six, two, five, etc. Um, yeah, I like five. Five is always going places. So, here we go. So here's a basic 1-4-5 progression using a C chord, like this, going to an F chord, and then we'll go to a G chord, happy little G chord. When we are playing these chords, the 4 chord, which I said was the F, has a triad built on the bottom four strings. So F, A, C. Those are the notes of an F chord. Now, to switch to the D, I'm going I can switch it to a D minor because of two common notes. In a D minor we have a D, an F, and an A. So the common notes are the F and the A. So when we play an open D minor chord, we have a D open string. A on the G string or, or third string, a second D on the B string or second string, and an F on the bottom. So we still have an F and an A between the two. So we are able to substitute those chords for each other. So we can play a C, F, G, come back to C, or I can swap out the four for a C, D minor, G, and see.
Now you can hear some of the differences there, um, and what I anticipate is you might like one or the other, and there will be turn on we'll talk about later on. Um, but being able to tell the difference between each is semi-important, kind of recognizing where you can add a bit of color with these changes. So you're able to swap that two to the four nice and easy easy. Uh, another way to alter this would be to add the six chord. Now the six chord can be used as a a substitute for the one chord. We eventually will have to get back to one chord. It sounds silly if you don't put it in there. But the six chord is also known as, would, could be potentially the relative minor of the root. So in this case we have C. The relative minor or the six chord would be A minor. So C, to, C is a C, E, G triad. A minor is an A, C, E. So we have the common notes of the C and the E. Now with that we could go C, add in another chord to go before the 4 or 2 uh, of a 6, and, and then go to the 4 and then 5. So here's the progression, it's more doo y sound, and then I'll go to the 6 which is A minor, then to the 4 which is F, then the 5 which is G, and back to C. Now I'm going to add in that substitution I talked about just a second ago. Um, changing the 4 to the 2. So the F to the D minor. C. C. A minor. D minor. G. Back to C. So there you go, that's just, um, that was a 1, 6, 2, 5 progression, commonly used in a turnaround if you're wanting to jump through, you know, from a C, a 1, to a 5, but have a few chords in between using some substitution methods there. Um, so there you go, there's a few ways you can kind of change up your 1, 4, 5 progressions and make them a little less bland if you're bored of just playing 1, 4, 5 all day, every day. Thanks for checking out this video. If you liked it, great, perfect, hit the button, subscribe. Keep in touch. Uh, you can f down below in the description, you'll be able to find access to um, my Facebook, uh, my website, my Instagram, soon to be other things, but that's going to come in the future, whatever that happens. Um, if I went too fast, if I talked too fast, if you have any additional comments, let me know. Um, it'll help me out, it'll help you out, it'll help everybody out. If you're interested in taking private lessons with me, I, this is guitar, but I teach drums, bass, all the things. Um, get in touch with Martha's Music. The contact information will be available on my website. Um, yeah, thanks again.